Hey YouTube, it's Luke. I'm the RCMD. Today I'm here with a new product. It's called the Predator V2, and this is an FPV system by Fat Shark. And I just got this system. I'm going to be doing a tricopter build. I wanted to do some aerial video and some other things like that, and um, <clears throat> kind of piqued my interest a little bit to start getting into the FPV system. So I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of other videos on YouTube. Guys, I'm going to give you straightforward information about this. Um, this is a really nice system if it is your first time doing FPV. If you're unsure about what you need, the frequencies, this and that, this is the system you need to go with because it's all inclusive, it's all in one, it's ready to go. There's nothing that you have to do except literally mount it to something. So if you're new to FPV, definitely check this out. Okay, now I want to give a plug to uh, getfpv.com. Now they're not sponsoring me or anything like that, but I ordered this product. The next day it shipped out, the next day I got it. They ship things priority. Now I had never ordered from getfpv.com before. I've ordered from a lot of other crappy websites and you know sometimes it ships, sometimes it doesn't. I always use PayPal because you just never know and a lot of times I wind up having to dispute the charge. So I was really hesitant but hey whatever, you know they accept PayPal. So I did it, I got it within two days. The packaging was awesome. This packaging was awesome. It was brand new sealed in the box and here's the best thing. This is the Predator V2. I got it for $279 with free shipping and no tax. But anyway, forward on with this, it comes with a lot of really cool things. You've got the goggles themselves come in a really nice hard case. I mean, this is obviously a really nice touch. You're going to be transporting this around, so it's nice to have the case. These are the goggles themselves. Um, they were slightly smaller than I had anticipated. Um, in seeing them on video, they had looked a little bit larger. They're actually mm, pretty sleek. They're not bad at all. Comes with a little antenna. All you have to do is just screw it on. <clears throat> and now here's the other thing. These come with uh, regular 5 gigahertz antennas. One thing that I've done a lot of research on and I might recommend is that you go with the Cloverleaf antenna. Uh, you can pick these up pretty cheap on eBay or anything like that. If you want to spend a little more money, Fat Shark makes an omnidirectional Cloverleaf antenna that's kind of built into like a little hub. But that's going to be one of the upgrades I definitely do. So these are the goggles. Um, pretty straightforward. It comes with, in the package, uh, manual obviously, some stickers. Um, and then the battery for the goggles, this oops, this was the only weird thing. The battery actually has to go in the headband on the side, so it, it's a little weird. It's not uncomfortable at all, but that's pretty much it. So if you look, the battery actually sticks in the headband. It does not go in the goggles. And then you take this plug and you plug it right into the side in order to turn it on. That's pretty much it. So <clears throat> essentially, you've got your goggles. Uh, they're pretty neat. They, they really don't. I mean, of course they're going to look stupid, but they don't look that stupid. So, I mean, pretty nice. It's got a really nice field of view. Um, it's really clear. I, last night, was playing around with one of my cars, and I just taped the camera to the top of the car and was kind of driving around in the house. It's a lot of fun. I know this, this multi-copter thing is going to be a lot of fun with FPV. So, um, some of the other things that come in the package, uh, everything, again, is completely assembled when it comes. So, You've got a main transmitter board with the antenna on it. Um, this is a, a 250 megawatt transmitter here. And then you've got a cable that's already pre-attached with a little FPV. I wouldn't call it HD necessarily, but it does have pretty good resolution. Um, it's probably just 480 lines, but it's actually, it's actually pretty nice. It's got an adjustable focus on it, so you can change the focus. It's got a nice wide angle lens, so even if you're close to something, you can still see pretty far to the left and the right. That'll come in handy for flying FPV. Um, really light and small camera, easy to mount anywhere. And then the other wire that's on here simply goes to a board. And this board has the ability for you to plug in um, a two cell, a three cell, or a four cell LiPo balancing port right into the board. So you've got your main connector for your LiPo for your motors, and then you take the balancing port, plug it into this, and that'll get you your FPV. You couldn't ask for this to be any easier. All these boards come pre-wrapped in plastic. Um, so, you know, no dirt, no dust is going to get in there. You can pretty much just put some double-sided sticky tape on there, stick it right to whatever you want to use it for, whether it be a car or a helicopter. Stick your camera on there. Um, you know, you could probably also replace this plug with um, 
They make a kit for the GoPro. If you're going to be using a GoPro, you can also transmit video through the GoPro too. Um, you would just have to swap out the camera. But uh, this kit is like ready to go. Um, it comes with a, a plug for the battery for the headset um, with banana clips. So you could either charge or discharge the battery with that. Um, it is a two cell LiPo battery. So you want to make sure you have a balancing charger in order to charge the headset battery. And then the last thing it comes with is just a cable. It's got an eighth inch tip ring sleeve output there. And it's got, uh, you know, your regular stereo sound and yellow video cable. Um, in case you wanted to plug this into a little monitor outside or a TV or something like that. Um, so overall, uh, everything's ready to go out of the package. Uh, pretty awesome setup. I don't have anything bad to say about it yet. Like I said, I only got to try it a little bit, but for 279, Ready to fly, this is the coolest thing I've ever come across. And I definitely wanted to point you guys in the direction of getfpv.com. Um, I was really pleasantly surprised by the way they do business and I'll definitely be ordering from there in the future. So.